Mark, well, during Live on 5, we showed you a crossing guard problem at a Cleveland elementary school. Well, we also found some safety protocols are not being followed, putting kids at risk. Investigator Jonathan Walsh joins us now live from the east side. And, Jonathan, we're talking about faulty lights. Yeah, I'm standing near Euclid Park Elementary School, and these warning lights behind me, they're designed to slow drivers down as kids go to and from school. They're not working. They're supposed to be flashing. But these lights aren't the only ones I found not working properly today. Everybody know when school starts. Lassamia Lanton's son attends Euclid Park Elementary. Whoever's in charge of uh, the lights supposed to be flashing for the kids' safety, it should be on. But they weren't, and she told me city and school leaders should have made sure these safety signals worked on time. And so I went to work. First, Councilman Jeff Johnson explained to me a retired crossing guard had the key to operate the lights, but now he's investigating why the lights are not on. People in the neighborhood are not happy. And it's very fast. It's 20 miles per hour, but they're doing more than 20. I seen one kid that walked up to the corner, didn't know whether to run, to stop, or do anything. Just paranoid, just scared to death. I discovered more problems with warning lights not working at East 41st and Superior in front of the East Preparatory Academy. Watch how kids are boarding buses and the lights are not on. The principal admitted she contacted the city of Cleveland about the problem. The city told me it's aware of the issue and was scheduled to fix it today. But I also noticed these lights just down the street in front of Case Elementary School not working properly. They were flashing for more than two hours in the middle of the day. The city of Cleveland told me light issues, if not prepared today, would be in the next couple of business days. But that's not good enough for some parents. So I think that is very sad. We are committed to staying on top of this problem. Meanwhile, if you have any safety concerns surrounding your school, feel free to contact me. My email, jonathan.walsh at newsnet5.com. Reporting live here on the east side, I'm investigator Jonathan Walsh, News Channel 5.